you very much, Jimmy. Well, we are very excited for September 28th in Los Angeles at the Staples Center. I will start off with Sean Porter. Sean, welterweight unification. You are about legacy. You're about looking ahead and, and going down as one of the best of all time for you knowing and you were the one that said, I'll fight Errol Spence. As Errol has mentioned, uh, not many people have been clamoring to fight him. But why do you feel in, in just your bravado to come out and say, I want that fight, I want to go down as one of the best? You know what, um, when I fought Keith Thurman in 2016, he was considered to be the most dangerous guy in the, in the division. And, uh, I wanted to take that away from him. I wanted to take that title away from him. I wanted to take that O away from him. Um, so in a lot of ways, yes, I've been down this road before. Um, I think I'm more prepared this time around. And so when you talk about the new monster of the division and uh, Errol Spence, I'm not foreign to taking on those, those challenges. I'm not foreign to getting prepared for those kind of challenges. I'm not uh, foreign to uh, understanding what those what that fighter can do and, and what that fighter possesses and skills, uh, everything that that Arrow has, and um, you know, and it's like I've said before, I'm, I'm I'm both willing to take on that challenge and I'm able to come out on top at the end of that challenge, and and that's why uh, you know he was he was selected. And I told him, hey man, you get a belt and it's on. And uh, w once he got a belt, I had to get a belt, you know, and then I got my belt and we made it happen. So. You know, there's nothing but excitement around the, the Porter, uh, around Team Porter and the Porter household. And I guarantee you there's going to be nothing but excitement around this world when him and I get in the ring. And speaking of excitement, Errol, how excited are you to know that a guy went ahead and said, you know what, I want him, I want you. Do you does that amp you up knowing that you're going to have someone that's going to come forward and bring his best, especially under the bright lights at the Staples Center in Los Angeles? Well, I believe it's big. He didn't want me. I wanted him. You know, right now, I feel like I got to go to his boxing to a point, and now I have no choice but to come out. And I'm the top guy. He didn't have nobody else to fight. I'm the money fight. I'm the guy that he's going to make the fight pay for you and make the, make the most money. So I feel like he didn't have a choice but to fight there. And then when I called him out down the ring, you know, it just had to happen. You know, Sean Porter is a guy that's willing to face everybody and willing to fight everybody, but he wasn't in a rush to fight me. How do you respond to those comments, Sean? Well, he knows the, the world of boxing. He knows the way the business of boxing works. He got in the ring and said to himself, I love you and your dad, but I want to fight you. I said, all right. It's the easiest fight to be made in boxing. And at the end of it, he knows that the business of boxing did not revolve around me fighting him next. Uh, whoever it was that allowed him to get in the ring, he got in the ring and said what he wanted to say, but that was not going to prevent the business from boxing from moving. The business of boxing moved me towards Eugenius Ugas. I beat and got past Eugenius Ugas, and now here we are. So why are we even talking about last year? Let's talk about right now. The fight is coming, so to the up. Any animosity between you and Sean Porter? You guys sparred together in 2011, 2012 at the Olympic Training Center. You're two of the best welterweights in the world, both champions, but is there any bad blood or disdain between you two? Uh, no, no bad blood at all. You know, I, I want to be the best. I want to be the best. I want to be the undisputed welterweight champion of the world. He's in my way. You know, I feel like, you know, in, the P, in PBC, it's too many. It's too many lines. It's too many lines. It's too many champions, and you know, and it has to be one. And I feel like right now it's like a little tournament going on. You got Thurman fighting Pacquiao. I'm fighting Sean Porter, and then you know you got Terrence Crawford on the other side. So I feel like by the end of next year you'll find out, you know, who's the best, who's really the best welterweight in the division. Sean, in your opinion, you know, people talk about you being a come forward fighter, uh, action packed. But do you feel that your pure boxing ability is sort of an underrated quantity when it comes to those that cover the sport and fight fans around the world? Yeah, you know, I think it's definitely underrated. Uh, I think that, uh, like Errol Spence knows, you know, there's not, you're not going to game plan and fight every fighter the same. And so for the a majority of the fights that I've had, guys are, are willing to 
they're not willing to engage with me, they want to take steps back, they want to use the rain, they want to hold, things of that nature, which forces me to become more and more aggressive, uh, which is my mentality in the first place. So it really does play into my hands, but you have a guy right here in Errol Spence that likes to be aggressive too. He likes to dictate the pace, he likes to be the general of the rain. I think I like to do the same thing. So. Um, the skill is definitely going to be a, a, a big part of this fight, and, and like he said, by the beginning of next year, you'll know who really is the best. It's not going to be just who was the most aggressive in our fight that determines who's going to win, but also who's got the most skills and who's, and who's the more talented fighter. And um, you know, I'm definitely out to prove that in this fight. I think if there's any fight that I can prove, uh, I'm the, the biggest dog in this in this world, in this division, and and also have the, the best skills in this division. I think that all of that will be proved beating uh, Errol Spence. Errol, how are you preparing for the aggression, the physicality, uh, the athleticism of Sean Porter? I mean, we don't do what we always been doing. Uh, you know, I'm used to fighting and sparring with the rest of the guys that come forward. And, uh, you know, he's not a fighter that just come forward. He's a fighter that, you know, try to use angles, you know, try to use his legs and, uh, you know, but I'm expecting a Sean Porter that's gonna, you know, try to brawl and try to get him inside and try to fight because I feel like there's no way that he can fight him on the outside. So he's gonna be a guy that's gonna try to come forward and try to fight and try to dictate the pace and rough me up and try to show things that, you know, never been brought, up, brought out of me before that I'm gonna have to prove that night.